Don here in Florida, and I'm back at it with these Delta band saws. I'm building up another uh, support, and y'all might recognize this one. This is the one I chopped off the other day. And I came to realize that, that now that I have a nice flat spot here that's uh, basically machined, I have a good jumping off point to put on a, a new radius uh, support section. If I could just uh, get a piece of metal that I could braze on there. So I went over and I got this black block of uh, cast iron. I uh, chopped this section off here. I cut it the proper width. And what I need to do is I need to put a radius in here. Once I have a radius in there, I can just uh, braise it on like that and uh, have a, an opposing support point for the table. So what we need to do is clean up the ends which will be pretty quick and I'm not going to worry about the rest of this actually I, I prefer to have the uh, casting look on there so when I braise that on it will all look uh, semi original and uh, then we'll go ahead and make our radius cut in here and uh, I'm not very energetic today the heat's really up there so let's see if we can find a quick way to do this okay so let's get on the mill right now I'm not even going to change that mill out I'll just use that one And this is contoured a little bit on the end from the casting, so we're going to touch off on it in the very middle or close to the middle here. Figure out where we're at. Okay, we're starting to touch right there. Let's see as we back away, there's no contact. And that should be plenty for that end. Okay, now we need to have two nice flat surfaces to grip onto later. Let's go over here and uh, mark out what we need. Okay, looks like the original mark I made on here is going to hold true. So when we cut this out like this and go to braise it on, should make a nice uh, radius support opposite to this one. So let's go ahead and uh, go over and let's go ahead and go over and cut this out. Okay, there we go. We have a radius, more or less. It's not very smooth. So, what are we going to do? How are we going to get that to be perfectly radiused? Hmm, let's think about that. Well, I guess I could spend an hour or so getting it set up on the faceplate here and just turn it and radius it that way. That would be a little time consuming though. I guess I could set it up on the dividing head like that and turn it underneath a mill. That would work, but that would be time consuming. Honestly though, it's hot and I'm tired and I don't feel like going through all that effort. That this is a four inch radius. So why don't we just take a saw like this and trim our four inch radius into this and see if that works, okay? Okay, so we can line up the blade with that original line that I drew and that'll put us on our true radius and I've locked the y-axis and I'll back the x-axis out here Okay, and 
and we'll run the we'll run the quill until we find a spot where it's just starting to catch okay, it's just starting to touch right there so we're gonna go ahead and uh, we're gonna lock the quill and we're gonna run this up and down with the z-axis shot so we'll go ahead and, and bring it in a couple thousands right there we're starting to catch and again we'll start taking some of that out it's not exactly the truest arbor Okay, we'll shoot for a few more thousands. Okay, so if we look in there, we have a nice smoothed radius surface now, except for that one little spot where I hit it with the blade, but that's not going to hurt anything. The rest of it's nice and smooth. But we want to make it look more like this side here. We're going to need to groove this out in the middle and then draw, drill a hole down through the center uh, once we get it all brazed on there. So we need about, uh, let me measure that. We need about uh, 300 and we're gonna go 300 thousandths on each side. And this is not an imperative number. We're, we're just roundabouting it. So we basically need to make a groove right across here, that area right there. drop down about a saw blades width and again the same thing the 
Yeah. Okay, I'd say we cut an acceptable trough in there. Here we go. That's plenty deep enough for what we need. Okay, so there's the finished product. I think it came out pretty good. I actually took the table off the saw over there and used that to ensure that we had a proper alignment on both sides here. And once I had the alignment, I uh, just clamped it up and uh, started brazing and it. I think it came out just fine. I uh, drilled the hole in there, as you can see, and cut the end off, painted over it. So we should have a, a nicely functioning uh, table support now. So I know it's probably cheating a little bit to use a saw to get a radius like that, but it came out nice. It came out smooth. It is the proper four inch radius. So I'm pleased with it. <clears throat> Call it cheating if you want, <laughs> but uh, hey, it works. Anyway, it saved me a lot of time. I can actually go out and cut the grass now. Ugh. So I guess that's about it. As always from Florida, Don out.